The Seychelles is an archipelago of 150 granite and coral islands in the Indian Ocean. The largest islands are the island of Mahi with 144 square kilometers, with the Seychelles capital Victoria, the island of Pralin with 38 square kilometers, and the island of Ladigue with 10 square kilometers. The three islands are not far apart and are connected by ferries. These three largest islands are also the destination of many tourists. The sites of the islands are the beautiful beaches with the granite rocks that are striking for the Seychelles, the tropical flora and the giant tortoises. Each island has its own special features. Mahé is touristically developed and livelier, Pralin is more idyllic with beautiful dream beaches and the famous giant coconuts, the Coco de Mer, and Ladique is a beach paradise for cyclists. In this video of my Seychelles series, I introduce you to the second largest island in the Seychelles. Pralin has almost 9000 inhabitants. Most tourists arrive by plane on the main island of Mahé and take the ferry over to Pralin in just under one hour. Caution! In the Seychelles it's very warm and the sun is burning. Proper sun protection is therefore important. A driver takes you from the port to your accommodation and you get your first impression of the traffic on Pralin. The well-developed bus service is ideal for taking a closer look at the island. Alternatively, you can also rent a car. A brave leap for me because I've never driven on the left and the roads of Pralin is an adventure. Anyone who thinks that the little traffic and the manageable road network on the 12 by 5 km island and a maximum allowed speed of 40 km per hour would be a piece of cake to learn to drive on the left should not start too unsuspectingly. The few roads are narrow, there is often no limit on the left and right, but the asphalt falls away, so you shouldn't leave the road if you don't want to slide on the floor pan. In addition, the streets are sometimes very steep and confusing. I was glad to have rented a car with an automatic, also because of the possibility to stop wherever it is nice, we have not regretted the rental car. The Vallée de May Natural Park is a UNESCO World Heritage Site with the famous Seychelles palm trees on which the Coco de Mer, the largest coconut species in the world, grows. A guided tour through this palm park is impressive and interesting. Incidentally, the name Coco de Mer comes from the fact that before the discovery of the island, people thought that these coconuts grow in the sea because they were only found floating in the sea. It was only with the discovery of the Seychelles that the trees on which these large nuts grow were found.
Vulcana is home of some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. On our tour around the island you can choose your favorite one. You should always have sunscreen, something to drink and diving goggles with you. Two beaches to the west of Pralin compete for the gold medal for the most beautiful island beach in the world. We first looked to Anse Lazio, a white sand beach framed by the typical Seychelles granite cliffs with a sensational snorkeling spot. I like the snorkeling site on the right better, seen from the beach, but both sides are worth a visit. The second gold medal contender is Anne Georgette Beach. At this beach it is important to register at the Upstream Golf Club one day in advance. You can only walk across the golf course to the beach if you have registered before. 
The distance should not be underestimated and you should have enough to drink with you. But the long way is rewarded. You arrive at a white palm beach with beautiful rock formations and the underwater world is spectacular. We couldn't decide which beach is more beautiful and awarded two first places to these dream beaches. The range of gastronomy on Palin is limited. There are some takeaways and restaurants, but the restaurants leave a deep hole in the travel budget. All in all, the Seychelles is not a cheap holiday destination, but the wonderful nature compensates for the higher expenses of staying in paradise. If you stay a little longer on Palin, you should plan one of the many boat tours to the neighbor island of Curieuse. There you can admire a large colony of giant tortoises and a boat trip through the beautiful island world is fantastic. In any case, don't forget your diving goggles because the underwater world around Pralin is not less impressive than the nature above the waterline. From Pralin we head towards Curieuse past fantastic rock formations and smaller islands. First stop is a snorkeling break in front of Curieuse. The next stop is a turtle sanctuary in a beautiful bay with harmless little sharks on the beach.
So far, turtles have been shy, contactless animals for me. But after a short briefing, you could make friends with the turtles. The turtles love it when you scratch the parchment skin of these animals and they obviously enjoy the many pets. Hiking trail goes through a mangrove forest across the island. Thousands of snail shells lie in the mangrove swamp and seem to be a part of this biotope. From the top you have a beautiful view of the island landscape and a former bridge that was destroyed by a large tsunami. There are also small sharks in this bay. But no fear, the last shark attack in these shells was a long time ago and it was at night when you shouldn't go into the sea anyway. Departure is at a beautiful beach after lunch break with delicious island specialty. Shortly before returning is another snorkeling break which should not be missed. The fish and coral world in this area is wonderful.
With one of the beautiful sunsets we say goodbye to this paradise island where we would have liked to stay longer.